Today I'm uh, walking, taking a walk in the forest because I've been feeling like I need to do that for a while now. And I'm here in Edelva uh, walking the marathon trail. This is the legendary <laughs> Tartu marathon trail and uh, there are six events a year uh, and here take place skiing, running and cycling marathons. So every spring the trail runners, every, every September the mountain bikers and every winter if there is snow the skiers, well this is, this is first snow. <laughs> Yeah, this is not marathon material. Next, uh, last year, this year, this year, this year was cancelled. Um, no, this year it was rearranged to a different track because these were the conditions. I've been feeling like I really need to go to the forest for some time now. And uh, at the beginning of this week, I even thought, no, shit, I'm gonna take my tent. I take my new tent, uh, find some place, stick it up, and spend two nights. And then this happened <laughs> to the weather. So, not that you couldn't tent, uh, camp in the snow in winter. It's just I don't have the gear to do that. So I'm just taking a walk. It's finally a day off from work. So this is a blaze. Uh, the red one. I'm actually not going to do the full trail because it's about 14 kilometers and I feel like walking about an hour today. Uh, it's been a hard week. But so far I see that it's quite okay uh, marking if you pay attention, which I'm not really doing at the moment. If you can sh hear shooting in the background, then that's the shooting range, which is also nearby. A few words about Estonian climate, then it's the end of October, and this is first snow. As you can see on this track, some skiers have already been on it. Uh, yeah, first snow can definitely happen at any point in the October, November, but usually from October to uh, basically January, it's it melts a hundred times, and it snows again, it's slippery, cold, and wet. And and yeah, this is the Estonian winter. It's not all bad though. Uh, for example, it's warm today. It's around zero Celsius, I think, a little bit uh, higher though, uh, because everything's melting already. But yeah, uh, Estonian winter can be anything from like, plus 10, okay, maybe not plus 10, plus 5 to minus 30 Celsius. But the 30s are, are more likely to happen in January or February. Much more familiar with this trail in the other direction because <laughs> uh, all the marathons come from there and go backwards. But today I just started out at the finishing spot. So yeah, if I walk the other way around, I would know exactly where I am. Another reason for today's hike or walk is I'm trying to break in my boots, which I'm using for my next year's through hike. They're actually heavy. And that could be the breaker for this deal. I bought these boots in the summer when I wasn't particularly educated on the matter of how to pick uh, trail footwear, especially for a long distance hike. And I know now that uh, many people use trail runners and you could definitely do that, but I think that as a beginner, maybe it's not a bad idea to start out with uh, a higher boot. They're Gore-Tex boots, they should keep a feet dry, although they probably won't if it, I don't know, rains for a week. 
but I'm hoping for the best. And well, they only need to last this one trail 500 miles. So far they feel really comfortable. Uh, the high ankle area is a little bit unusual. I don't wear usually boots of this height, but I think it'll be okay. I just, oh, it's undone itself again. It keeps doing that, I don't know why. I'm also taking this walk today because, uh, well, yeah, it would be smart to prepare for the hike that I'm gonna take. And, you know, you gotta walk to do that. So yeah, weekends, walking, hiking, trekking. It's gonna be my winter this year. I really like this forest. It's, uh, it's a pine forest with other trees in it. <laughs> Over there, down there, there's the, a little river. I think I'm gonna walk back alongside it. And I've never really explored this area before, aside from the marathons, but when you're running or cycling or walking, then, you know, you just do what you do. And so close to the finish line, you only really think about finishing. I'm coming up to a junction. Let's see if I can uh, find the trail I'm looking for. This is the marathon blazes or markings for cycling and running. It looks like someone's gone off trail with a bike. I don't know where that goes, so I'm not going there, but I'm going down there coming up to a hill to go down it and see. I remember all the times I've had to climb up this hill Does that mean I'm supposed to go there? I wonder. I'm gonna go check. Uh, right. I found a trail. This is nice. I'm yet to see <laughs> the next blaze to tell me I'm on the right track. But it's really pretty. Look at it. There it is. Oh man, I like it already. I'm getting wet though because of all these branches hitting my knees. Walking alongside the riverbed, here's a hill, and then there's the riverbed. I'm sure this will be flooded in spring. Since I've lost all the blazes, there's no marking. I'm gonna head back. Because at some point I could be, you know, too far in. And no, the trail is not well marked. I found a trail. But is it the one? Back is that way? Because this is so wide and I see footprints, I'm gonna follow this one and see where it goes. 
So my GPS is telling me that I am heading back towards where my car is. But I know, don't know how far that is. I think it's about four to five kilometers. I'm on a yellow trail. I don't remember which one that is, but I'll see. At least I'm heading in the right direction. So this is the trail I'm on. And this is something to tell you about beavers. I found an adventure park in the woods. Interesting. There's a little bridge. Witch's house. I do not know whether I should go there. <laughs> There's a blaze. I see the river. Yep, I'm gonna go back. So, even though I found the trail, I'm still heading backwards from the direction I came from because the trail markings are so confusing and I checked my GPS that I'm still going the wrong direction so I'm not gonna risk getting lost. Yeah. So, following this uh, trail back, and see where I end up. So I'm um, yeah, I'm walking back. Didn't turn out the way I wanted to, but at least I'm not lost. So that's always a good thing. And well, if you're gonna hike the trails around Edelva, then just equip yourself with a map. Because I don't understand the point of marking a trail if you are not going to do it properly. So here I am. I'm walking back to my car the exact same way I came. So that's it for this time. I'm going to finish my walk. Hope you have a nice weather where you are, wherever you are. And go for a hike yourself. And don't forget, if you're going on a hike, in winter to a place you don't know, take with you everything you need and don't underestimate the nature. See you next time. If you haven't, you can check out my website escapist.ee uh, where I have a lot of information about hiking in Estonia. I've also been posting to my Instagram so you can follow me there and if you found any value in this video, go ahead, hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. See you next time.